Hi everyone. Um, it's been like a thousand years since I've made a video so I thought I would do a little studio tour um, again because I've done made some changes and I don't know seems like fun to show where you work so here I am. <laughs> um, immediately when you walk in this is where I pile all of my like shipping boxes that I get. Um, it can get pretty full and then once they start falling down is when I take them out to the recycling. <laughs> Um, here is where I make tea. So I have a little tea station. Um, I have lady friends that come over once a week or so to do craft night. That's why I have all the cups, not just for myself. I got this for free and it was out in the hallway. <laughs> I was like, sweet. Um, shipping boxes, packing materials, dog water bowl. Um, this you guys have already seen. I basically keep extra tools in it put my bag up there. Um, what else do I keep in there? Injection wax was basically the whole bottom drawer. Um, then I finally went to Ikea and bought a bunch of shelves because things were taking over the flat surfaces of my studio. <laughs> so here I have my catalogs and random stuff. These things I'm super stoked about. They're like these tiny little glass balls in these colors. They're tiny. They're like glitter almost, but glass balls. I got them at Fred Meyer. They're Martha Stewart crafts, but I'm pretty excited to use them for something. I'm not sure what yet. Um, here are the tiny pugs in their cushy dog bed. I finally moved them out of that shipping box <laughs> and bought them like a little bed that keeps them off the ground, which they really like. I haven't been bringing Dieter because Dieter's this one right here because his eyes have been bothering him for a while now. We've tried drops. Now I'm just using saline in them in the morning. But anyway, I haven't been bringing him to work very much because there's a lot of stuff floating around. Um, a safe, obviously I need a safe if you do what I do. Um, here is my recycling bin, which probably has two years worth of <laughs> old papers in it that I need to do something with. Um, another shelf with all of my doodads and things, because my desk was getting really, really, um, oh, uh, messy. It still gets messy. Um, that used to be up there because I have a internet addiction problem and I can't have my computer. I couldn't have my computer <laughs> down on the ground floor because I would be constantly um, screwing around on it, which I still do. Uh, here is where I've been trying to be more organized and with my days and get things organized and done, but um, those that you see here are from February. <laughs> it's now almost the middle of March. <laughs> but um, I was really good last year and this year has just been slow. Uh, that's a painting I did years ago. Um, this is where I put my orders. So they're all kind of organized in a certain way. And um, how they're oriented tells me if I've bought the materials for them or not. Um, filing cabinets, printer. That's not mine. This is my friend Sally's quilting stuff, which brings me to my little like quilting thing. Um, last year I took up quilting and um, got a sewing machine. So I don't do this for a living, but it does take up a lot of my studio space. <laughs> That's a quilt that I'm helping my friend Sally finish. Um, a baby quilt, it's part, it's half of it. So it's up on the wall so we can see what's going on. Um, anyway, fabrics and the shop monkey made me these awesome shelves that you see, those white shelves. And um, fabrics, this is a quilt that I'm in the middle of quilting right now for my best friend. She just graduated from physical therapy school. Um, let's see here. Awesome sewing machine, storage, storage. Um, this is where I moved my uh, workbench. I had been this whole space right here from this wall to over here and in the back corner, which I'll show you. Um, my friend Cheyenne, who also does jewelry was sharing this studio with me for about a year plus and then she bought a house and uh, moved home so um, I moved in where she was at which is nice because I, I kind of needed to expand anyway 
but um, you should check her out. She's on Etsy as well at Gin and Butterflies. She is an amazing, amazing wax carver. Amazing. <laughs> amazing. Amazing. Um, if I could carve wax like that, I would never work again. I would just sit around carving waxes. Anyway, my workbench is a disaster area. I have not straightened it up since I came back from my vacation in the end of January. So I need to really like get this together because in a week or so I'm going to have like all of the orders from February coming in that I need to work on. Um, another Ikea thing which has been really great. Let's see here. Just stuff on the wall. That's where I put my orders that I'm working on at this bench. Like things go through different processes so that way it's easy to move them around. This right here is a tumbler. I haven't been using it very much, but if I do, if I start doing like production stuff in silver, so maybe earrings in the future, I have some ideas. This will come in real handy to do like the first polishing. Um, this right here is where I've started to do my stone setting. I need to get uh, a hanger that I can move around. See that flex shaft? I use that flex shaft at the wax um, table right here. And if I had it on a rolling hanger, I could move it over here and also do the stone setting here rather than doing it over here with this flex shaft and then moving it over here to um, do the actual like stone setting. Having to like carve the seats, etc., over here and then moving over here. Um, just kind of awkward. This is where I do this stuff right here. Um, there's two kinds here, which I prefer this gray stuff. What you do is you heat it, it's like thermoplastic and you heat it in here in the hot water and then you form it around um, your piece to hold it sturdy, steady, um, while you set stones or you engrave or whatever you're doing. This is um, Jet Set. I'm not too thrilled about it. This is by GRS and it's awesome. It lasts forever. Uh, I just prefer it over, over this. Um, yeah, so I, I Basically, I wish I had something to show you because sometimes I have them in there, but you form it around there and like make a nice solid, I don't know, <laughs> and then you like clamp it in here and then you can set your stones really easily. Um, another little organization thing for files, etc. That was used to be in this set of drawers, which was my first like attempt at organization. And now I'm over here. Those are just books on stone setting. What else did I want to show you? Oh, yeah. Um, this thing at the bullet at Ikea and now it holds all of my um my wax carving type related you know stuff so instead of just like being everywhere all at once um I have it all organized on this little push cart which I'll tell you what when I got this all set up I was like wow I am a professional now <laughs> it's so funny the little things that make you feel a certain way um yeah, I guess that's it. I'm actually leaving work early today because um, the shop monkey is getting off, work, getting off work early as well. And we're going to maybe it's the weather. I don't know if you can see it, but that is actually sunshine um, in March. So we're going to go take advantage of it by playing bocce ball in the park or something. Um, and maybe take these tiny pugs with us. Okay, everyone have a great weekend. And um, yeah.